Thanks for checking out this video. I was literally wondering just last night where the information was for Shutter on what they were going to have coming to their service in October. Just showed up like half an hour ago maybe, so I was like, I'm home, let's do this. Sorry, <clears throat> a little bit out of breath. I just had to clean up cat puke. <laughs> it literally happened. I was recording this, and it happened while I was recording this, and I was like, yeah, that's got to go, so I'm restarting it. So hopefully that doesn't happen again. Anyway, we already know for October, talked about it on the September one, that um, there's that October 25th date that's like a to be announced that they said, which we're assuming based on a bunch of hints that it's a Joe Bob Briggs last drive in something. I think it's probably more like a marathon than it is the second season of his normal show, his weekly show starting. And I'm hoping for that, too, because more is better in the sense, because then that means if he has a marathon, then we still have season two to start somewhere else. But I'll take it either way. I know a lot of people would, but really hoping for that marathon. <clears throat> it, it would make sense, you know, October. So uh, there are a few uh, screeners I can get for the show, uh, for, or for the show. There are some screeners I can get for movies that are coming for October, so put down in the comments if there are certain ones you want me to get screeners for so I can review them ahead of them coming out on Shutter, um, I will identify those as I go through it, which ones I can get screeners for. The other thing is, uh, apparently I'm going to continue getting the screeners for the Creep Show series, so hopefully I should be able to get those and post reviews for the episodes, no spoilers obviously, before the episodes are coming out. So, And that's every Thursday. And... On that note, they kind of have a breakdown of the shows coming out. Uh, it's going to be every Thursday, obviously, but they have the names of the titles. So the first episode we got Pat, last week uh, was Grey Matter and The House of the Head as the two stories. Then on October 3rd, we're going to get Bad Wolf Down and The Finger. On October 10th, we're going to get All Hallows Eve and The Man in the Suitcase. On October 17th, we get The Companion and Lydia Lane's Better Half. October 24th, we're getting Night of the Paw, and Times is Tough in Musky Holler. That's a weird title. Uh, and then October 31st, we're getting Skin Crawlers and By the Silver Waters of Lake Champlain, which, if memory serves me, I believe that last title is one that's based on a short story by Joe Hill, who is Stephen King's son, if you don't know, but a lot of you probably know. So, um, Also coming in October... Channel Zero, Season 4, The Dream Door. Now, this is one that I had originally thought was um, done specifically for Shudder. I said that on the last or on the September video, and um, someone corrected me in the comments, so thank you very much, whoever that was, I forget. And they said, no, that was on Sci-Fi, it just hasn't been put on Shudder yet. So, based on the creepypasta short story, Hidden Door by Charlotte Bywater, Channel Zero, The Dream Door, follows newlyweds Jillian and Tom, who have each brought secrets into their marriage. When they discover a strange door in their basement, those secrets start to threaten their relationship and their lives. And that is coming October 10th. So, there you go. Um, with the premiere of Dream Door on Shutter, they will be the exclusive streaming home for all four seasons of Channel Zero, by the way. There you go. Uh, the final episodes of the show Nosferatu are going to be released on October 3rd and October 10th. I'm excited about that because I have been watching that show on Shudder and I will have a review on my channel eventually when it's done. We'll see when I get to that, though, because October is very, very busy for me. I'm going to try and put out as much content as I can because it's October, but we'll see. Um, okay, so here, here are the movies coming. So October 3rd, we have The Furies. This is one that I can get a screener for, so let me know about this in the comments if you want my, my screener review for this ahead of it coming out. Rebellious high school students Kayla and her best friend Maddie find themselves abducted by a sinister presence and stalked, along with six other women, by men in terrifying masks. Sounds like an interesting premise. I'd be interested in that, but let me know what your thoughts are. Uh, Gwen, this is also one I can get a screener for, coming out October 17th. In this stark and atmospheric tale, Gwen is a young girl struggling with her mother's mysterious illness, her father's absence, and the suspicious local community that is turned on them. Somehow, Gwen must find the strength to guide her family through the darkness and overcome the evil that is taking grip of her home. 
There you go. Let me know. Uh, and then I am going to get a screener for this one, I believe, because someone was already telling, actually a few people are already telling me about this because apparently it's uh, available to purchase somewhere on demand. Um, it's called Haunt, and Eli Roth is associated with it. I um, from producer Eli Roth, oh, this is going to be on the 24th, October 24th. From producer Eli Roth and written and directed by the writers of A Quiet Place, on Halloween a group of friends encounter an extreme haunted house that promises a to feed on their darkest fears. The night turns des deadly as they come to the horrifying realization that some nightmares are real. Sounds good. Sounds like a theatrical version of something like Hell House LLC, which I just recently did a review for. You can check that out. Then I am also interested in this one because it's like an anthology film thing, and Mick Garris put it together, and I love Mick Garris. It's Nightmare Cinema that is hitting Shudder on October 29th. In this twisted horror anthology directed by a killer lineup of genre legends, five strangers are drawn to an abandoned theater and forced to watch their deepest and darkest fears play out before them. Lurking in the shadows is the projectionist, who preys upon their souls with his collection of disturbing films. As each reel spins its sinister tale, the characters find frightening parallels to their own lives. Mickey Rourke's in it, by the way. Joe Dante's involved, Ryuhai Kitamura, Mick Garris, as I said. Uh, I like Rio Kitamura and uh, David Slade. Cool. Um, real quick thing, they have the Ghoul Log available right now on Shudder, and then they're also going to have Son of Ghoul Log. It doesn't say when the Son of Ghoul Log is coming. It just says coming soon. Uh, but it's just basically like the, the Ghoul Log is just a jack-o'-lantern that's lit up on a street setting, and it just runs for like an hour, basically. And it's got like halloween -y noises in the background it's a fun thing to just kind of like put on and have on in the background while you do things around the house um and then son of gulag i believe is the one that's created by larry fessenden so that'll be an interesting one to, to check out and see what it's all about then they have their plug for the special thing on the 25th uh, i say shutter is whipping up a very special halloween treat that will keep you up into the wee hours details coming soon so you see there, it seems like it's going to be a marathon. So all for it, let's do it. Uh, September 30th. So now, today. The taking of Deborah Logan. After hours of searching, Mia has found the perfect subject for her PhD thesis film on Alzheimer's disease. For the next several months, cameras will record the everyday life of Deborah Logan and her daughter, Sarah. Mia and her crew will document the physical effects the disease has on Deborah and the emotional and mental toll it takes on Sarah, her primary caregiver. Ugh, there's a lot to this. As they begin the filming, the cameras record Deborah and Sarah's day-to-day -day activities, with Mia noting the telltale signs of the progressive disease. As the days progress, strange things begin to happen around Deborah that are not consistent with any findings about Alzheimer's. Something else is taking control of Deborah's life, and evil threatens to consume anyone and everyone who try to stop it. Okay. I've heard mixed things about this. Uh, there is a particularly one scene in it that I've heard a lot about and I've actually seen online that is kind of crazy. Um, I might check it out. October 1st, Body Bags by John Carpenter. I will probably check this out because uh, also Toby Hooper's involved with it as well. I like John Carpenter a lot. Body Bags. Uh, a woman works a late shift at the, the gas station while a killer is on the loose. A man can't stand the thought of losing his hair and he'll do anything to keep it. And finally, a baseball player submits to an eye transplant after he loses an eye in, an, in a car accident. So this, I believe this is another one of those kind of anthology films. I'm all for that. I love it. Um, so it says John Carpenter, Stacy Keach, Mark Hamill, Tom Arnold, Wes Craven, Sam Raimi, Roger Corman. Based on all those names alone, I feel like I gotta. Uh, October 7th, Ever After. Post-apocalypse Europe, two years after zombies have overrun Earth, only two citadels of civilization remain in the East German towns of Weimar and Jena. In Weimar, newly infected zombies are shot on sight without mercy. The Jena authorities take a more humane approach by trying to find a cure for plague victims. Vivi and Eva, in search of a more humane world, are stranded in the no-man's land of the Black Forest, where they have to rely on each other and nature in order to survive. But their survival has also unleashed demons from their past that they must confront. Probably pass on that one. <clears throat> Just because me and zombies, if you've been watching enough of my reviews, you know. It has to be very extraordinary in order for me to be into a zombie film. Train to Busan was one I quite enjoyed. 
But for the most part, <clears throat> excuse me, I stay away from zombie films. Just because they're boring to me. It's overdone. Wax Mask, coming October 14th. Uh, in the mid-90s, Dario Argento approached a physically and professionally ailing Lucio Fulci to direct one final pr uh, production. An over-the-top shocker about grisly murders at a Paris wax mu museum. But when Fulci passed away, only weeks before filming was to set... Was to set... They, the wording's messed up. Was set to start... Argento turned to Sergio Stivaletti, the effects genius on Phenomena, Opera, Demons, and Cemetery Man, to make this feature directing debut. Well, it doesn't really tell you anything about it, about the actual, like, storyline. Oh, well. But I'll check it out, because it sounds like Giallo? I like Giallo. Really do. Have a lot of Giallo reviews, and I'll be doing more. October 16th, this is appropriate. The Devil's Rejects, which I already have a review for The Devil's Rejects on my channel, if you want to check that out. Uh, a family of murderous maniacs are pursued by a violent sheriff in Rob Zombie's brutal sequel to House of Thousand Corpses. When the Firefly's home is raided, three members escape. Enraged over the murder of his brother, Sheriff Wydell hires uh, bounty hunters to track the clan down, leading to mayhem and murder across state lines. Um, Sid Haig is in this, obviously, so that's probably one of the driving factors for this film. This is Rob Zombie's best film, I believe. I can't think of another one that I would say is his best film. I think this is recognized by people as his best film. The reason I had to think there is because I was trying to think, for me, is it his best film? And yes, I believe it is his best film. Uh, then we have the last one here. October 21st, it's a movie called Without Name. Land surveyor Eric travels to a remote, unnamed Irish woodland to assess its suitability for a new development project. However... Not all is as simple as it seems on this assignment. Intrigued by the woods' foreboding mysticism, Eric finds himself drawn into a dangerous game that could lead to him becoming a prisoner of this place, of this place without name. Okay, that's a little weird, but um, don't know how to feel about that one. I might not get to it, or I might get to it like on later months, but you know. So anyway, uh, once again, let me know for those ones that I identified as me being able to get screeners for. Put some comments down there. Are there any particular ones I definitely should do? I think I'm already going to be in for getting a screener for Haunt and Nightmare Cinema because they're ones I'm already interested in. Um, but yeah, give me your feedback. Uh, yeah, hopefully everyone's excited about what's coming to Shudder in October. Put some comments there down there about it. Are you excited for Joe Bob's return? Are you excited for all these films and shows? What about Creep Show still going on? Fun times. Um, and Nosferatu. Are there any people out there watching Nosferatu at this point? Put some comments down there because I'm enjoying it. I'm really liking it. Anyway, thanks everyone for checking this out. Please do me a solid real quick. Hit that subscribe button. really helps me out a lot. And that's your way to repay me because I'm not making money at this point. Just having some fun. But thanks everyone for checking this out. Until next time, keep it brutal.